It shouldn't take too long here. Now that my bud is all set and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start layering our flowers. On the bottom, you can see there's a semi-flat surface and that's what I'm going to start with. It's dang glue. Actually, liquid glue is a lot more forgiving. I mean, you could use a glue dot if you wanted to, but the liquid glue is a lot more forgiving because you can kind of move it and rearrange it. And I'm just going to glue this right inside here. I'll just set it in. And then start my layering process. And I'll do this to each layer. I'll just keep adding more and more layers. Isn't that cool? Very cool. And like I said, we're just going to keep layering and layering until we get all of our layers together to make our flower. Okay, I'm just about to add my final layer of my flower. This is just absolutely beautiful. Isn't that cool? That's four layers. of my flower. So let's get this final layer on here of our flower and then we'll add our green bottom. And you want to try and match up the petals so that they're filling in the gaps of the flower. You can see here. I'll try and do it up close. See, I'm trying to layer it so that the the petals aren't all the same on top of each other and next to each other. And then I'm just going to hold it. Isn't that spectacular? Look at that. I mean, I love my Prima flowers, don't get me wrong, but when you have all kinds of scrap paper laying around, there's no reason why you just can't make your own flowers. Okay, now we're going to make our bottom. I'm going to put the glue on the inside of this bottom here. Got some glue stuck on my top of my glue bottle here. All right. And once again, I want to make sure that the petals are filling in the gaps. Make sure it's all pretty even. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Look at that. There's my green on the bottom of my flower. Just beautiful. See that? Now that my flower has pretty well set, I'm going to now take my paper piercing tool I'm going to start to slowly and carefully bend the leaves around the thin metal part of this. See that? And I'm just going to, whoa! I have flying piercing tools going on here. I'm just going to slowly work my way from the outside in. I'm just going to bend these just a little bit, not a lot, but just to give it a little bit of texture. So you know it's all about the texture.
Cool, cool. I think I'm going to kind of fluff this open a little bit too. There we go. Now we're moving. It's always good to make sure you let your flower sit, let the glue set before you start to do this. Only takes about five minutes just to make sure that's all good and glued. Good and glued. Like I said, we're just going to go around the whole flower and all the petals and bend them open. Okay, here's my flower. After I've got it all um, bent and manipulated and fluffed and all that wonderful stuff. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to remove this here because we're going to need to work on a surface that's a little bit easier. It's just a bottle of water there for my paintbrush. I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to take my stickles and it's copper. I'm just going to put a dab of it on my craft mat. And I just use like a, not real big, not real thin, but thin enough that I can kind of get in between here. And I'll pull it apart a little bit with my fingers as well. And I'm going to just start dabbing in some of these copper stickles onto my flower, including the leaf that I put on there. And it just adds a little something, something to it. You know, it's, you don't have to do this, but I kind of like it when my flowers, when they shimmer a little bit, what you could do after you're done with this part of the process is you could then paint on paint on your glossy accents and then I'll kind of let it harden up a little bit whereas this is still pretty manipulative and still kind of move it around a little bit. There we go. You don't need much. You really don't, but it's just enough that it kind of gives it the a little bit of glimmer, glitter on the end on the ends of your petals. Hi, everybody. I just want